Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial for Fastlane, a digital audio school done in Montpellier, France, an Ableton certified training centre. In this series of tutorials, we're looking at the Max for Live devices. We've already looked at LFO, Envelope and Shaper, and it's now time to add a beat to our project using the brand new drum synths. In the previous video of this series of tutorials on the new Max for Live tools, we've studied and we learned how to use the LFO, the envelope and the shaper. We apply that to various parameters with an analog to give us this type of sound. So great sound, we need to add a drum beat around that, shall we, to put it into context. And that's the perfect opportunity for me to introduce you to the brand new drum synths we got given within Max for Life. So if you go to the Max for Life tab and the Max Instruments, you'll find DS synthesizers, DS drum synths here, the drum synths, DS stands for drum synths, obviously. obviously. We have eight different drum synths and a drum simpler synth here. Okay, so to use that, I'm going to obviously build a drum rack, sounds like the best uh, way to use these guys. I'm going to bring on the kick, bring on the snare, bring on a hi-hat here and a hi-hat there. And maybe we'll have a little tom sound so you can easily build a drum rack and save it for further use. So I'm going to write this drum bit. Let's just do it in real time, shall we? Let's just put two bars here. Let's arm the track. Perfect. And let's just record something. Let's find the hat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do for a simple demonstration like this. So we got, you see, just like any other drum rack, I was able to use these drum sets. They sound very cool, right? Yeah. That, that kind of uh, sound may suit very uh, much trap music or even uh, uh, glitch music or, or whatnot. I mean, it's, it's a very um, digital sound you may want. For example, I spent an hour with Machine Drum in the studio at Loop in Berlin last year in 17. And guess what my man was using as a starting point to build his drums? Well, he was using the drum synths in Ableton Live. So let's just look at these uh, one at a time. Let's solo the kick drum. And you can obviously pitch that. Let's go on G, for example. So great, you can pitch that to uh, your uh, key of the track. You can play with the length of the sound, the decay, having a very long sound or very short sound. You can add envelope, so that's the pitch envelope. With no pitch envelope, it's very soft. With a lot of pitch envelope, you can hear the punch coming in if you go above a certain point. You can really hear that pitch and it makes it a lot more, even more digital, really. The volume, of course, right here. We've got two different types of drives and character. First of all, we've got a drive. Yeah, that's a lot more like my type of kick. And a bit more color as well. Yeah, it's slightly on the high mids, this one. Then we can add a bit of attack to soften the sound. Or keep the full punch and we can add a click at the start of the sound so yeah it's very basic but I like it like that I find it easy to to program same with the snare I want we, we can tune it but there's no note obviously tuning a snare is more more about the, the low note in there so there's no note to it but we can hear it yeah so first of all we can tweak the decay or the length of the the sound Short, long, I'm more into short sound. I can shape the tone, brighter, duller. There's not even any noise left in there. I can shape the color. Again, playing with the texture of the sound. And here we have a low pass filter a high pass filter and a band pass filter depending on what you're trying to achieve. 
So for instance, one thing I'd uh, advise doing if you're not into that uh, digital sound and you, you just want the hoomph, the, the strength and the, the weight of the drum uh, since, but you actually want some kind of organic vibes around that, let's just go and grab a snare drum from my collection here. Well, I don't know. Yeah, this one will do. Look, I'm going to press and hold comment. I'm going to drop that on top of the other snare whilst holding comment. And I've got a rack in a rack. That's the sound I've just added. I can add that to the original. And I can now, you see, work in layers. Great. I had, yeah, we have a pink color, a lot more digital. Uh, white slightly more natural the length uh, the pitch sorry so once again it's not exactly pitch it's most like color I'd say yeah and then we have closed hat yeah open very open yeah change the tone pretty much the frequency content we have two types of filters very strong filter I'm gonna bring that down and slightly lighter filter 12 DB 24 DBs and we can add a slope to the attack less punchy great and a volume of course so yeah you see it's it's damn simple to use these guys yeah uh, let's have a look at the time once again we can set the actual key so let's stick that on a sharp one for example yeah so it goes well with the kick let's program one in uh, where is it uh, there cool yeah the length obviously is the decay band will you have a lot of movement in the the tuning with the band more band let's hear it see you get pew you can hear the pitch moving up and down uh, we have the color have I said that already yeah and the tone filtering and uh, layering basically yeah color is more of a filter tone is more like a, a, a switch between two layers of sound that's it so yeah drum synths really damn useful yeah Yeah, pretty damn useful to write your drums. A very punchy sound. You can add, obviously, effects on each of these pads to uh, shape your drums even further. These were the new drum synths in Live 10. See you on the next tutorials about Max for Live.